So today I thought that I would start us off with an article that I wrote my freshman year of college. So I wrote for <laughs> her campus when I was a freshman in college and this was my very first article for them. And I joined, I was like so excited. <laughs> I remember I wrote this article on a hurricane break because if you go to school in Charleston, like you, you take breaks because hurricanes come, which is a thing. And I wrote this and it was just like, it just like poured out of me. Like I was, I had a lot of feelings about my freshman year of college. So I'm just gonna, I'm gonna just, I'm gonna read what I wrote. I am about four weeks into college and I have come to the conclusion that it's kind of mediocre. <laughs> Let me set the scene. I'm sitting alone in my dorm room at 10 p.m. scrolling through my Instagram feed trying not to feel bad about myself. I have seen so many pictures of girls from my high school looking so good on a Tuesday night. They have that full-on flat iron hair, gorgeous smoky eye, and an amazing party outfit. Me being me, I'm like, okay, go you. <laughs> and then I put two exclamation points. However, the 90 year old woman in me is saying, go to bed, you have class tomorrow? Question <laughs> mark. I don't know, I have a lot of feelings. Every girl I know is posting adorable pics of their dorm room with their perfect fairy, fairy lights, surrounded by their roomie, <laughs> who doubles as their best friend, and a group of girls that is already solidified. Well, I do pride myself on having some freaking adorable fairy lights, I did. I didn't have some. I am not having the same experience as most people portray online. I believe that being a freshman is kind of terrible, and here's why. One, you do most things alone or with people. Okay, this kind of gets, this kind of gets weird. Basically, the point of the article is just that not everyone has the same experience. So I thought that it would be good to like write an article about this because it is definitely something that I thought about a lot when I was a freshman in college because I was like, I was very concerned with like ha seeming like I ha was having a great time. Actually, I wasn't that concerned because I read this article and I posted it online for everyone to read and see. But here's the thing, I'm trying to say this right. Okay, so when you're in high school, that last, that last year of high school, everyone is talking about college and your junior, really like all of high school, you just talk about college. You know, you just talk about how amazing it's gonna be and like how much like, you're gonna free them and all this stuff. And like, it is that, don't get me wrong. I I love college. And I think that most people would like agree with me. Like the logical side of your brain is like, yes, this is great. School is just, school just gets better when you're in college, at least for in my experience, because in high school, you have like no time to really think and process the stuff that you're learning. When in college, like you have more space to, to learn. I don't know, there's just like more time in the day and you have more freedom and you know, it's, it's cool. It's cool guys, it's cool. But I, there are like some things that I wish someone had explained and laid out so I didn't feel like I was completely doing it wrong, I guess. Because I still kind of agree with this article I wrote, like being a freshman in college is like low key terrible. It's fun, but it's also bad. Okay, so um, let me just start off with number one. So first of all, everyone is just as lost as you. Like you might be, oh, well, all of those people, you know, they get along with their roommates and they have this friend group and they have this. Um, and like that might be true, but there's still a lot of people like you and like me, I'm hoping that, you know, haven't really figured it all out yet, especially like in the first couple of months, you know, you just start like comparing yourself to other people. Okay. So I had a lot of roommate issues my first like month. So a lot of my time was consumed with the sort of like drama that was going on with that. And I'm never going to talk about that on my channel, like maybe in like 10 years. <laughs> But um, it was just like a really awful situation. So I was like really concerned about all of that and like figuring it out and getting to my classes and navigating like having all this free time. So it wasn't this like, going out every weekend and like having fun and you know, solidifying the most amazing group of friends right away. Like just, I don't know. I feel like that's a lot more rare than people would like to admit. Anyway, okay, number two, stock up on food for the weekend. So this, you might not be thinking about this. Go to the, the dining hall or whatever, because most of the times dining halls like have weird hours on the weekend. So I found myself on the weekend, the only dining hall that I liked that like served okay food was closed from Friday afternoon to like Monday morning. So that was like three days that I had to just figure out what to put in my body to, you know, be, be cool. Yeah, basically just go to the dining hall and like bring Tupperware, fill up your Tupperware with like cereal, take some bananas, take some fruit. I don't know what you wanna take. 
just steal food from the dining hall. Like if you're like me, like I didn't eat like a lot of the hot meals a lot of the time. So I didn't feel bad using my swipes to like take bananas. Cause like that's what they're there for, you know? Okay, number three. Okay, so the biggest adjustment of college is definitely free time. And this is something that I didn't, I like didn't think about this um, until I went because like you just get there and like the weekend happens and like you have to fill it up with stuff. It's like going to camp, but there's no, there's no activities. There's no activities. You have to like figure out what to do with your life. And um, that was really overwhelming for me. So I got a job because I was like, I cannot handle this free time. So everyone copes with it differently. I don't know. Okay, number four, everyone talks a really big game when it comes to partying. But literally, trust me, you are not the only one who's never been to a party before. Like, everyone talks such a big game. And just like go and <laughs> like go with a friend, have fun. I don't know, don't feel like you have to like go, go crazy or go wild. Like you are in control of your, you know, your destiny, okay? Number five, you can still have fun with your friends or your roommates and have a chill night in, like in your dorm room. And honestly, those are like the most fun nights, I would say. My freshman year, like I would watch The Bachelor with my roommate like on Monday nights and we would like do face masks and like eat, eat good food. And like, we just had fun. Like it was just, or we would go to like coffee shops on the weekend and take walks. We were like lame, but it was like, so, that was fun. Like that was probably my favorite part of college. Okay, number six, don't lie on your roommate form. I'm looking at you, don't lie. If you are a morning person or a night owl, or you're gonna be bringing people over, or you don't want people in your dorm room, do not lie about it. Because if you end up with a roommate who's, and you like hate people and they're bringing people over all the time, you're not gonna like that. Just find someone who like has similar habits to you. Like you don't have to be best friends with them. Like, and if you are like, that's great. Like that's, that's a nice time. But also it's like kind of unrealistic. Like I just think that if I had someone that just like respected me and <laughs> Like that would have been like way better. <laughs> okay, number eight, if you're an early bird, do laundry at like 7 a.m. on Sunday or Saturday morning. Oh, because no one will remove your clothes and you can do multiple loads at a time. Number nine, don't let the pressure of having the perfect college experience like stop you from doing things. So I think that this was like a big thing that was like stopping me as I was like, oh, well, you know, I don't have this like immediate group of all of these best friends to go and do stuff with. So, you know, my college experience is invalid and it's not, you know, I don't know. Like, I just think that everyone is going through something in college and that's like another thing. Like it, even if someone looks like they're surrounded by a lot of people, I think that it can be an extremely lonely time. And it doesn't even have to mean that you're alone. It's just like, you're figuring out like a lot of new stuff about life. Oh, number 10. Okay, so learn your school's catalog especially if you want to study abroad. So this was something that like I didn't truly understand. So if you have an older sibling or someone you know who goes to the school, this is especially tricky like if you don't know what major you're going to do and you're, you want to study abroad, really take a look at your school catalog and figure out what you know, you need to do to make sure that you can study abroad. But yeah, so leave your questions below. Um, I might do another Q&A about college because it's, you know, it's a, it's a topic, right, with content. So um, do that. Uh, like this video if you liked it. And, um, you know, ch check out some other videos on my channel, you know, if you're curious about gap years or uh, other college stuff or... So thanks for watching and have a, have a good day. Have a good one. So just, that's where you are. So that's, thank you. Subscribe.